Nathan. Three nil win over Carlisle tonight here at Kenilworth Road. Back on top of the table. How does that feel? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, especially the manner of the, of the win as well. Little Carlisle come here and beaten in six in real good form. Good players, experienced at the level, you know, know how to play the game, but brilliant. Great first half, you know, to score a wonderful, wonderful goal from Andrew Shinney, then score another set play, sort of going two in, then we knew that they'd have, they have to change and come out, and once they come out, and we had the weather, a little bit of play to be fed them, to credit the Carlisle, they came out second half, really give it a go, but as I said, when teams do that, we know we've got a counter-attacking threat, and we did that. Harry Corney came on, brilliant. Brilliant for him to get a goal. Real good, real, real good performance. Brilliant result. Great to be back on top. We often talk about opportunities presenting themselves, and maybe this time last year or last season, this would have been a game we'd have maybe drawn. Oh, we best. did. Oh, we did. We did. I mean, uh, you know, um, when uh, last year we drew both games against Carlisle, um, they were, you know, had similar aspirations to us. Um, uh, and so on, and, uh, and they, they have them this season as well. They've got good experience, Clint, you know, people like Clint Dill, Liddell, Granger, real experienced at the level, good players as, uh, as well. So to, to, to beat them 3-0 at home, and to, no, you know, it didn't flatter us in any way, because it didn't, um, and I thought we were excellent, I really did. And, and to uh, the manner after, after winning seven at home on the weekend, to come here and to do that and the professional performance because another clean sheet, two clean sheets, ten goals, two clean sheets in a week, absolutely wonderful and I'm, I'm delighted, I really am. That's the point I was making, you know, okay, so it might have been after the Lord yeah. Mayor's show but yeah, not course. a bit of that and you know you made the changes and forced changes, Johnny Mullins came in for Captain Scott Cuthbert, seamless at the back wasn't it and Paddy coming into midfield. Uh, in place of Ollie Yeah, and look, dif difficult, difficult decisions because you know you've got Lawson Dath, Luke Gambin, Jordan Cook, uh, Alan McCormack's back in the squad and, and stuff. It's unbelievable, you know what I mean? The, the squad to, to make those changes, but the ones that come in know that they, you know, if they play well, they get their opportunities and so on. And they did today, and I thought, I thought we were immense. I really did. And it, you know, this is a good side. Let's not underestimate the the importance and, and the magnitude of the win because these are coming in and they're flying. They, they've, they've, they haven't lost in six and they're a good side but we've shown tonight that we are and I'm, and I'm pleased because it was a real good performance. What we had to do, you know, Marek was, was impeccable. Back four defended stoutly against a real lively front front three in terms of you know how they played. Brilliant. But as you said, to come to have won the game seven and then to come here and not play with an arrogant sort of swagger or, or, or a lethargy, you know, it was, was wonderful and I was I was truly delighted, I really am. Touched upon the goals there, Andrew Shinney, his first league goal has been coming, he got the two in the Czech Trade Trophy and he had one headed off the line on Saturday and Dan Potts nicked his other one that maybe wouldn't have gone in, but uh, it, it was a great goal, wasn't it? Poetry, that finish. He was a great finish, you know, great little move, and then when he laid it, it's a perfect little lay for him to come on and, and bend that, and he showed great execution, and, and look, that, that was the difference, you know. And, and credit to Pelly as well for staying out of the way. Uh, well, he's you know, probably done us right favour there, but uh, <laughs> but no, look, it, it was just a great finish, and and we know that at home, you know, this difficult place for people to come if we are clinical, and that's what we did, and I said to get two up before half time. Um, was was quality, and then obviously Carlisle will have to come out and and and, uh, and 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 sort of commit bodies, which they did, and they went really gung ho second half. So we knew that if we just defended well, stayed compact, we knew we'd have opportunities on the counter, and we did. And let's bear in mind, we missed a pen as well, so it could be far more convincing, you know. Um, but I'm delighted. I'm not going to pick pick bones in a, in, a, in, a, in anything because if someone had offered me a one 0 win against Carlisle here tonight, I would have. So three is fantastic. Man who keeps getting his head on the ball in both boxes, Dan Potts. I mean, the last three games, three and three now. Is he got a new goal bonus or something in that contract? But let's not forget the, the delivery. I mean, the delivery is is, is of, of absolute top end. You know, it's absolute. You see two ones with wonderful delivery. Granger's a a, a player that has wonderful delivery, but I think we've got one of the best. You know, in any division, he'll put it anywhere you want it. You know, and uh, and that's a credit. And then if you get people, move, if movement's good. And we've been unfortunate because we've scored three from. That's that's the third, maybe the fourth one we scored from 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 wide free kicks. And we've had one the others. Was disallowed, we've had, no, we've had the two disallowed. The one at Wickham was disallowed. Mm. That one, I think, it might be another one. If not, it might be incorrect. But we've had a minimum of two disallowed, and they've been bought. I mean, absolute borderline. So today, my first look was to the linesman, but you know, it was given that give us that that little bit of a two goal cushion and. Uh, and I said, I thought, I thought we were excellent. Another man who was uh, excellent, Glenn Ray. Um, yeah, growing into that role, 
he was playing at the back as well by the end, but in midfield he, he was he dominated in there in that holding role, didn't he? he? Look, he does. He's doing well for us. He's a real enforcer in there, and he's growing in stature and in terms of in possession and on the ball and, and things. But it, defensively, he's wonderful. Gets his head and he does the ugly stuff wants to tackle, wants to defend, and that's a rare art nowadays because people don't want to defend, people all want to go forward and so on. So he gives us that balance and then we, we have wonderful footballers that can go the other end and, and it's a credit to him and I love the kid, you know, there's no, no scene. I, had, I saw that at Brighton because he was in a group at Brighton that, that lacked that character and he was the only one and that's why we promoted him under, when, when I was there. Under Sammy, we got him up into the first team group and, and kept him there because he, was, he, was, you know, he knew he had a, he had a chance. And uh, when I got the opportunity to bring him here, it was, it was an absolute no-brainer. And uh, I said, he's, he's, he's a credit to himself, the kid, fair play. He's, you know, he's, he's had to go me a few times because I've left him out, but you know, he's, he's, he's a great one to have. And in that spell, we mentioned a few minutes ago, just after half-time, and when we had to weather a bit of a storm, obviously he was strong, Alan Shear and Johnny Mullins put their bodies on the line, and then, of course, you bring Harry Cornick on to stretch them again, and uh, he produces that cool finish that maybe he lacked a couple of weeks ago, John. Exactly, but he, he's worked on that. He's, he's gone away and he pulls Joaquin at the end, end of training sessions and wants to do that and wants to work on his slotted finishes and certain things because he gets himself in wonderful positions and, uh, and, and so he's working and we are. It's, just, you know, it's, an, it's an education for him and he wants to educate himself because there's a, you know, there's a, they have to um, take ownership as well. That's, you know, we're not going to just coach them and give them everything they need. They have to take ownership and he does that and that's, that's fantastic. But look, I thought they were, I thought they were immense. Back four were immense tonight, Glenn, and then we had a cutting edge about us. And, uh, it's, it's wonderful. And look, let's not forget, we were missing Scott Cuthbert tonight, uh, Alan McCormack and, and James Collins. And that's three big, big players. It's three big, big players. And, and, uh, and, and, and we've, we've you know, we managed to put in a performance like that. Just one on Johnny, um, went off towards the end. Did he get a knock or, or pull something? Yeah, just a bit of just a bit of cramp, you know, because he's been he hasn't had as much action as he would have liked. But you know, I pulled him yesterday, and it was a decision whether to drop Glenn back in or play him. And he said, "No, I'm ready. I'm ready." And he was. And then it was, he, you know, he's going down with a bit of cramp, so it's, it's not. It's another game in, in four days' time, so we didn't want to take any risks. But young Akin on as well, that because uh, he's been chomping at the bit, um, so we've had to keep him happy. Uh, in certain ways, and then and then Lawson got a bit of a run out. So lucky! It's, it's a good night. It's a good night for the club. And now we prepare a few days, ready for crew on Saturday. Nice away trip, and uh, look to continue the momentum. Yeah, God willing. You know, it's, it's relentless at the minute. You know, the schedule is is crazy. You know, I hear the champ, you know, the, the big man just talking about schedules and stuff. But ours is ours is mental because. We've had, we've had relentless games and then we go into the into December and there's the FA Cup and the checker trade and league and league and league and league and league and then back into the cup if you're lucky enough to get through. So it's it's relentless but you know, praise the Lord we've, we've got a good good environment here where we'll dust them down, we'll give them what they need and then we'll, we'll go up to crew in good form. Well done tonight Nathan. Cheers, thank you.